girl, how you bad so? How you bad so? How you rude so? I wanna take a little piece of that just Hi, son. Give me permission to walk Okay it's been forever since I made a video. I know I said I was going to to get a video of the whole like Christmas in Norway thing, but I, I mean I wasn't here for Christmas and the bit of footage that I did have just it didn't seem it didn't it seemed pointless to upload any of it. Um, it was all taken on my cell phone in the rain from half a kilometer away. But ultimately I escaped to sunny Cape Town and I enjoyed it. I was very glad I went to Cape Town for Christmas. So basically this is going to be a short video about uh, a couple of things that I've learned about Norway since my last video in early December. I think. Some of these things would seem pretty obvious to most of you. Uh, so first thing that I learned about Norway, it is extremely wet. That sounds very obvious. But for the first two weeks I was here it didn't rain. And when it did rain, it drizzled, okay, it was gross, it was icky, but it was manageable, it was fine. Um, it's not like that anymore. I wore a ski jacket, thinking it's cool, it has a hood, you know, cover my hair, everything is good. Because in Sushani's mind, the rain just falls from this direction. Sushani doesn't factor in things like wind, which Bergen loves, by the way. Not as much as the Vanga, but still. Wind, rain, I took three baths between me leaving home and coming back. My feet are soaked, everything is just wet. I don't think my ski jacket is doing what it says on the box. Um, it's just not that easy. Number two, don't bother trying to look cute in this city. There's no point. My makeup has been washed off my face. It's, it's, it's. <laughs> Why so much water? You think you're gonna be cute and come here with your natural hair and straighten it in the middle of the rainy season, which by the way is 300 days a year in Bergen. Hey, forget it. It's a waste of time and a waste of effort and a waste of your emotions. Just don't bother. Heels? Leave that dream in whatever country you're from. Leave it. Leave it in London. Leave it in Johannesburg. Leave it in Lagos. Leave it wherever. Just don't, 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 don't. Norwegian girls have figured it out. They've learned how to walk in heels in a city where everything is cobblestone. I have not learned this lesson. I have a scab on my knee to prove it. Mm -hmm. Was that number two or number three? I don't know. Number next. Clubs in Bergen are not as bad as my first experience was. My first clubbing experience in Bergen was, I now remember the name of the club, it was called Rick's. They looked at me and were like, why on earth would you ever go there? And I said, I don't know, I was just taken there. I was bounced from Cali Bar because I'm too young apparently. I'm still sore, still traumatized about that. But I did get into Cali Bar on student night. Um, but then they wouldn't let my colleagues in because they were too old. Oh, fun was had by all. And fun was had by me until about two o'clock or something and then the music just went down the drain and yeah, man it was just too much um number nation girls are incredibly strong and sometimes they abuse this power that they have let me tell you how so firstly i was very impressed to see so many girls in the weight section at the gym impressed to see just how many women are you know involved in that sort of thing at the gym which is really cool but here's where the abuse of power comes in. When we went out that night to Calibar, I was shoved around and pushed around and thrown around like, insert clever metaphor, clever simile even. Yeah. Man, and it wasn't even the guys. I'm standing here, you know, jamming to the music a little bit. There's space enough for a nice slim Norwegian girl to squeeze past me. No, she will not go for the space. She wants to come exactly the route through which I am standing. Rugby tackle the person out of the way. I've never slapped anyone, but trust me, that night I actually said a prayer. In the middle of the dance floor, I closed my eyes and put my hands together. They are witnesses. This is something that I keep hearing from people and I just think, no, you guys are exaggerating. Look how cute and pretty they are. Like, how can they be? I know that you're strong. I know that it's all about equal rights for men and women, but it's okay. You're allowed to be calm. You are really, really allowed to be calm. And I'm sorry, this, this is obviously a gross generalization um, based on a couple hundred 
uh, young Norwegian girls who I encountered on this night out. They're lovely, lovely people, don't get me wrong, very friendly, but my, 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 my. Guys, 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 calm down, please. That's not fair. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure. Ah, uh, there's one more lesson, and it's also rain related. The final lesson warm is synonymous to rain. So last week it was cold, it was below zero, which meant ice everywhere. Fall on your behind. Kill yourself on the road because no one cares about the pedestrians. They can slip and they can die if they like. But this week it's meant to be warm, i.e. 4 to 8 degrees, which initially sounds like, yay, a rest from the ice and the cold. No, 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 no. That's when the sky opens its mouth and spits on you. These are the lessons that I've learned. Oh, there's actually one more. This video is too long. I don't know how to, how to edit when I'm telling a story. To put in a set of braids. Mm -hmm. To put in a set of braids in the city of Bergen costs 2,500 kroner. What kind of braids are they? Are they singing? Are they cooking breakfast for you in the morning? Are they teleporting you to work? I, what kind of... why? Let me just give you some perspective. A return ticket to London for the weekend, you might actually pay as little as 37 pounds for a return ticket. Let's just say 50 for the sake of argument. Let's assume that you know someone in London and you can crash at their place. Even if it's by one degree of separation, everyone knows someone in London. So accommodation isn't an issue. Um, and then um, let's give you about £20 for transport for the weekend, including getting to and from your um, hair appointment. We can even add it, rough it up to 25 30 if you like, you know, just for the sake of argument. Give yourself £25 to feed yourself that weekend. The most I've ever paid for braids is 70 pounds and those are like tree braids and you know So if you look hard enough, you'll find someone unless the inflation has just gone Elsewhere since I stopped paying other people to braid my hair It would cost me less to fly to London to do my hair there and come back Than it would to do my hair in this city Whoever you are, hair doing lady I understand that you have a skill, but my friend, calm down. Please be calm. The spirit of extortion is real in this country. It's a very strong spirit. Now I have to try and edit this down to like a five minute video. But yeah, those are the things that I've learned. Anyway,